Hello. All right, so what we have in this problem is we have y equals log base 3 of x plus 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply the transformations to graph this logarithmic equation. And one of the important things that I, I want to do when graphing this is I'm going to go ahead and understand what that transformation is. Now understand, we're taking the logarithm x, and then we're adding 4. So whenever we add, add or subtract outside um, of, our, of our function, we're going to be shifting the graph up or down. And since we're adding 4, we're going to shift our graph 4 units up. All right. Now, in graphing logarithmic equations, what I like to do is um, take a look at the graph and be able to determine kind of two points. Now, sometimes it can kind of be a little bit difficult when you're trying to determine your points when you have a problem like this. So what I like to use is just take a look at the parent graph with no transformations. All right. So when I take a look at the parent graph with no transformations, what I'm going to do then is graph that and then apply the transformations. So here, it's very simple for me to create a table of values because I can rewrite this in exponential form. All right, And then what I can do is, now that it's in exponential form, I can now uh, take a look at this and determine my values for x and y. How about we write this like here? And what I want to do is, a lot of times when I'm choosing my values for my parent graph, I like to just make this simple. right? I want to choose values when x is going to equal 1 and when x would equal the base. So x equals 1, we know when y is going to equal 0. And we know x is going to equal 3 when y equals 1. Therefore, now I can plot those two points, 1, 0, and 1, 2, 3, comma 1. Therefore, my graph is going to look something like this. All right? And we know at this graph we have an asymptote at x equals 0. We have a domain from 0 to infinity. And we have a range from negative infinity to infinity. So these are all a part of our um, parent graph. But now what we're going to do is, and we label these points, which is very helpful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this graph and we're going to shift it four units up. So I'm just going to simply take these points and shift them four units up. So if I go over one, up zero, I'm now going to go over four, over one, up four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, my next point is over three, up one. Well, now it's going to be over three, up five. All right, and my graph is still going to be the same as far as left and right. That's not changing. Well, since I haven't shifted the graph left or right at all, my asymptote is still going to be at x equals 0. My domain is still going to be from negative or from 0 to infinity. And my range is still, just because I shifted up, the graph is going to still increase um, up to infinity. And it's still going to decrease down to infinity. So my range is still going to be from negative infinity to infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a logarithm with a vertical shift. Thanks.